Let us start with the most important part in web application pen testing that is SQL injection. In this lecture we will learn an overview to what is SQL injection. With advancement in technology modern society has accomplished many unthinkable goals. However, as the technology develops, so does the risk increases. Same is the case with web applications. Today's applications are fraught with vulnerabilities. Since 2003, SQL injection has remained in the OWASP top 10 list of application security risks that companies are wrestling with. So what is SQL injection attack? SQL injection also called as SQLI is an injection attack where an attacker executes malicious SQL statements to control a web application's database server, thereby accessing, modifying and deleting unauthorized data. In the early days of the internet, building websites was a simple process like no JavaScript, no CSS and only few images. But as the websites gained popularity, the need for more advanced technology and dynamic websites grew. This led to development of server-side scripting languages like JSP and PHP. Websites started storing user input and content in databases like MySQL. MySQL became the most popular and standardized language for accessing and manipulating databases. However, hackers found new ways to leverage the loopholes present in the SQL technology. SQL injection attack is one of the most popular ways of targeting databases. SQL injection targets the databases using specifically crafted SQL statements to trick the systems into doing unexpected and undesired things. So why is SQL injection so dangerous? There are a lot of things an attacker can do when exploiting an SQL injection on a vulnerable website. By leveraging an SQL injection vulnerability, given the right circumstances, an attacker can do the following things like bypass a web application's authorization mechanisms and extract sensitive information. Easily control application behavior that's based on the data in the database. Inject further malicious code to be executed using user access applications. Add, modify and delete data, corrupting the database and making the application unusable. Enumerate the authentication details of a user registered on a website and use the data in attacks on other sites. It all depends on the capability of the attacker, but sometimes an SQL injection can lead to a complete takeover of the database and web application. So how does a SQL injection attack works? A developer usually defines an SQL query to perform some database action necessary for the application to function. This query has one or two arguments so that only desired records are returned when the value for the argument is provided by the user. An SQL attack plays out in two stages, research and attack. In the research phase, attacker gives some random unexpected values for the argument, observes how the application responds and decides an attack to attempt. In the attack phase, here, attacker provides carefully crafted value for the argument. The application will interpret the value part of an SQL command rather than merely data. The database then executes the SQL command as modified by the attacker. In the next video, we will learn different types of SQL injection attacks.